welcome back to the Renson's Yard. Today we're going to do an oil change on my GMC W4500. So this is the dipstick for the engine oil and this one down here is for the transmission oil. And the oil filter is the big one back there. This is the filter for the transmission and those two up top that's the fuel filters. And now we can lift the cab up. And make sure that safety latch is latched so the cab doesn't fall down. And the oil filter number you're looking for, uh, for Napa it's uh, 7521. It's a pretty big one. So, that's it. And for the oil, I'm using some 5WD40 diesel oil. Uh, the factory recommended interval is about 10,000 kilometers or once a year. And the right socket is... 17 millimeters. Don't forget your safety glasses. Okay. I'll slide this one over and take off the oil filter and use the empty one to catch the remainder of the oil. I do have some of these oil filter plier thingies. It does make it easier to get off. Okay, so while that finishes draining, I'll show you guys where to grease the truck. Here, top and bottom. Same thing on both sides. And then the U joints on the drive shafts at both ends. Huh. Lucky it's accessible. Sometimes you might have to turn it a bit. And it looks like our oil is all drained. So we're going to be able to put the plug back on and put on the new filter. And obviously you want to make sure the The joint on top is lubricated.
Here we come with a second gallon of oil. There. Put the cab back down. Same thing as to put it up. You just release the latch out front. There. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So just the latch up here, and let it gently come down. You only really need one hand. And make sure all the safety catches are closed. There. Perfect. And also, while we're at it, this is your coolant tank, or overflow, so that's where you'd want to check it. It's not very clear, but if I take off the cap, you can, you can see that there's still some in there. And right above it, that's the transmission fluid which is you know here and it, it does share fluid with the power steering also I'll bring it yeah so the bottom one is the coolant tank and the top one is the transmission power steering fluid and right next to it is the air filter which you want to check once in a while on the driver's side here that's for the brake fluid just pull this off and you can see that it's full. So there you have it. Spring maintenance on my big truck. Thanks for watching.